from Cape Town to Cape Canaveral, a few special South Africans are heading to space today. The very first constellation of satellites developed and designed in Africa are loaded into one of Elon Musk's SpaceX rockets for takeoff later today. Their mission? To enhance South Africa's ocean's sovereignty. To find out how we do that from space, we're joined by the Cape Peninsula University of Technology's acting chief engineer, Nyameko Hoy. Uh, Nyameko, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. You must be very excited with that launch uh, set for later this afternoon. What what exactly is the mission here and how will these satellites achieve it? Uh, <clears throat> good morning, good morning. So, um, the satellites basically they're going to achieve this using the, what we call the automatic identification system. Uh, on the satellites, on board the satellites, we have uh, what we call a software defined radio, which is optimized to detect those uh, automatic identification systems, which are <clears throat> which are, are usually installed on the ships. And then they are used to determine the ship's destination and then also to determine uh, the ship's speed and then uh, also the, the payload that is in there. So with that said, we use that information and then we can track it via the satellite. Terrestrially, it's kind of hard to track that due to the, to the horizon factor. So with the satellite, at least it's up there so you can have a better field of view of the ships. Who commissioned this work, Nyameko, and how will it be beneficial? Uh, basically, this is going to be beneficial in terms of uh, securing our economic zone in South Africa. We've got this uh, exclusive economic zone about 200 kilometers of the oceans. And then uh, the DSI find, uh, funded the mission uh, in 2017. We had a precursor mission whereby we demonstrated the SDR that we developed. <clears throat> we demonstrated it with um, Zycube 2. So the DSI, they, 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 they funded the mission and then in order to show, <clears throat> in order to, 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 to uh, they funded it in so that we can get more data basically. We, 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 we had uh, one satellite, and then uh, with that one satellite, you can collect so much data. And then after that, you, with uh, three or more satellites, you collect, you, you manage to collect uh, some more. Or, you know, like the more data you get, the better, the better will be your, 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 your output or your, or, 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 or your, or, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Nyameko, it, it's, quite, it's quite interesting that these three South African satellites being taken up into space uh, on the rocket ship of a company started by a South African in the form of Elon Musk's SpaceX. Is this the first time SpaceX will uh, be conducting a, a mission for you guys? And what's the difference between this and the other launches? Uh, yes, it will be the first time we're using SpaceX. Uh, um, the, it's, uh, it, uh, we used the Russians before. I mean, uh, to launch uh, uh, <clears throat> to launch uh, something into space, it's not as easy as you would uh, you would think. But with SpaceX, it's kind of different because you have to. It's like it's a new it's a new uh, entity you work with. So it kind of have different rules and it kind of have different requirements. Uh, you know. So, yeah, I mean, if you're consistently using the same, like if we use the Russians, at least it's something that I've worked with, so it would be easier. But now with SpaceX, it's kind of different, you know. Yeah, the, the, the rules that you have to follow and the, and the requirements that you have to adhere to. Uh, Nyameko, the space technology sector has uh, the, the ability to have a positive economic impact in South Africa. Uh, where are we right now with our space technology infrastructure as South Africa? Uh, uh, space technology, uh, I would say that we do have a little bit of an, of an advantage uh, considering that most African satellites are usually bought from uh, other countries uh, like your Austria and uh, Europe and stuff like that. But we do have the capability to, I mean, to develop those satellites. I mean, we had Svandile and Sunset as the precursor missions that were developed in the 90s and the early 2000s. So with the CubeSats, our niche is the CubeSats now because they are quite cheaper to develop, they are quite uh, <clears throat> quicker to develop. So unlike the microsets that we've developed previously, the CubeSats are quite cheaper and then easier to launch and also to assemble, you know. <clears throat> so the, 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 the industry is uh, developing, but although it's still in its infancy, uh, I mean, uh, 
there's not much uh, in, uh, in in terms of investment like from private sector is not much uh, support we get but uh, i think we we're getting there we're getting there Oh, well, Nyameko, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. We're quite excited about this launch. CPUT's acting chief engineer, Nyameko Hoi, liftoff is at a quarter past five this afternoon. To catch the launch live, go to spacex.com forward.